The new MK12 Cyber Threat Progressive Skin, a beautiful and incredibly detailed skin, now ready for you to buy in PUBG. Welcome guys. There's a catch to this, of course. This beautiful skin, which is perhaps one of the best looking, if not the best looking overall skin in the game ever made, there's a price tag of about $1,700, which is something I know because I spent $1,700 to buy it. This is an absolutely insane and completely outrageous price that should not really happen in a game like this. What is really going on here? This is insane. You should not expect your players to pay that amount of money for a skin. I fully upgraded this live on stream to test out how much this would cost and also to bring clarity and make it blatantly obvious how much money you have to spend to buy this. I want you guys to know exactly what you're going into if you go for this skin. Now I did some research and for the amount of money I spent on this skin, I could have bought myself a new fridge. But I don't need a new fridge. I could also got myself like an electrical scooter and go like 40 kilometers per hour. It's pretty cool, but I don't need that either. And what I'm trying to say here is that people spend money on different things. Personally, I make PUBG videos and play PUBG basically for a living. So this is something that I was definitely very interested to have. Like I want the skin. I think it looks great. I would like to have it. There are people who would say a skin that's just pixels on a screen. Well, that's true. But the painting you bought for your house, well, that's just acrylic paint on paper. So we all like different things. And I think that's important to respect that if some people want to spend their money on one thing and you don't want that, you can spend your money on something else. People are completely free to spend their own money or whatever they want. Now, if you want this, like I said, don't expect to get lucky. Don't expect that you're just going to go in there, spend a few hundred dollars and then get a fully upgraded skin. No, not at all. Expect to pay at least $500 to get it and get it upgraded a few levels. Now, before I talk more about this, because I do have a few more things to say, let me show you what it looked like when I upgraded this to max. Okay, so here it is. And uh, we're gonna, that first one is a grip and magazine skin. Wait, what? Both? Really? Well, that's pretty cool. Those used to be separate, didn't they? Anyway, let's upgrade. Bam. Okay. Next is the total kill battle stat. Happy to see that that uh, people are able to only upgrade it three times to get a battle stat and weapon. That's good. Because uh, actually, already like this, we're going to upgrade right here. Already like that, it's kind of cool. I think that's reasonably uh, achievable for a lot of people who spend... Maybe people who just saved up coupons. Ah, that's a little, little bit going too far, but... Yeah. Okay, uncommon skin cosmetic. Ooh, okay. Now we can get this. And I think... I think we're out of, out of juice now. Okay, we can upgrade again. That's the animation. Okay. A little bit worried about this because um, $500 got me to level 5. And uh, it gets more and more expensive the higher you go. So that eight, level 8 would be another 500. So it's, it might be a thousand more. Oh my god. The kill feed skin. Okay, and that's what that looks like. And then the muzzle and scope skin. So that means uh, we're going to see how the different uh, scopes look like. Uh, I like like myself a six scope. Looks pretty nice. They could have used some black coloring. I don't know why they went with the like turquoise here, kind of. Um, it seems like it doesn't really fit the theme, but I guess it's acceptable. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a big one, yeah. And then you have, yeah, okay, so they put in here as well. Yeah, I like, I, I like, I like, this looks sick, man. Damn, this looks awesome with the suppressor. Okay, upgrade. Boom. So, 
just to reiterate, $500 from level 1 to level 5. $400 from level 5 to level 7. Actually, we can we could say 950 except now I got a little bit back there. So let's just let's just put it in 900. So now I need to put in more money. That's it. $400. And all we got was three schematics. Three. Okay, so fair enough. We can do this. So maybe a little bit more. But we didn't get the progressive skin. No. No progressive skin. So there's nothing to upgrade. If that was you spending $400, you would not get the progressive skin. There's nothing to upgrade. You get a few schematics, but you wouldn't get any progressive skin at all for 400. I just want to. I'm just saying that, guys. So you know what to expect with this. You got to understand what this is. I think this is going to be. Um, I don't know. All right, so we can upgrade it, and uh, now it's over. Let me just jump up here, guys. So there you go. You can actually see it's uh, giving you this indication that you can get the levels. So loot crate skin. And the headshot battle stat. And there it is. Fully upgraded. The price, $1,700. You can think about if, if you think that's worth it for you to go all the way. I think the answer for most people will be no. <laughs> Understandably, no. All right, so that's what it looks like. That was $1,700 spent on PUBG for one single skin. Now, I already said this is something I wanted, so I'm not complaining about this. I don't feel scammed. I honestly, I knew what I was going into. The problem here is that this is a cool skin inside of a very cool and fun feature, the feature of upgrading your progressive skins. Why is it that PUBG is expecting the average player to spend so much money buying this? Well, the answer is probably that they don't. They don't expect the average player to buy this. They don't expect the average player to enjoy this feature. This is exclusively a feature for either the rich or the people who has a problem with gambling because this is gambling and that is definitely going to be predatory to some of the players who have a weakness for gambling. But there will also just be this group of people who have money, aren't really necessarily rich, but just feel like they want to spend their money on their favorite game. I know this is supposed to be exclusive. This is supposed to be very special. So the price needs to be up there. Otherwise, everybody will have it and it wouldn't really be special at all. But the price needs to be cut down by at least around 70%, I think. This is still way too high and you shouldn't expect people to buy this. I'd rather see more skins like this, but at a much lighter price. But now you know what to expect with the progressive MK12 skin. This skin, like I said, it is absolutely beautiful, but it is also insanely expensive. Don't expect to get lucky. This is gambling. Be careful what you do. And that's the warning I would like to give you guys if you are considering buying this skin. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.